Hello again, YouTube Truth Man here. So we got a content by request, burning out my retinas. One true, uh, number one fan. Shout out to you for the one ninety nine super thanks. Appreciate it. And uh, remember this: the small rate. Uh, just just for the content by request, I could be like these other dudes, say ten dollars, twenty dollars, so on and so forth. But I ain't going to do you like that. Because I want to do it anyway. I want to do content by request anyway. But it's just only fair. There's something that's contributing. That's how you show somebody that you support their channel. And I appreciate all of y'all that have been supporting this channel. And you're going to see the, the and what exactly you supporting real soon. I got a, I got a surprise for you. He says, if you was 20 to 35 and you found a true virgin, how would you move forward? He said, basically, would you have sex or are or no? Obvious virgins are perfect. No, nah, nobody's perfect. But I, I get where you're going with that. Uh, but how do you operate with the spirit once you have a good woman? How do you explain the poly mindset to a virgin? Now, let me, uh, let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. We begin in work, too. And shout out to all of y'all for these content by request, for the comments, for the encouragement. I appreciate y'all. Like, I'm not a person that secretly could care less or don't even like y'all just using you for money. When you got to use people for money, whether you male or female, that's just, I can see you you want to do what you do, but you want to get compensated. That's different. Man, I'm so tired of these construction workers, man. What the hell? Now I got to go this way. But he wants to know how to deal with a virgin. You asking the right person. Because I had virgins, I had semi-virgins, I had women who thought they was virgins because they didn't do certain things. Okay, let me move this camera around so we'll see my location. Wouldn't want nobody to get goofy and I have to do something to them. Everybody don't like the truth, man, y'all. So I'm going to just leave it like this till I get from over here. Now. Well, let's go this way. He wants to know about virgins. I think you, you, are you, did you find one? If you find one, you off on the right track, but that's not all peaches and cream, I'm going to tell you. Because I've had a couple virgins, and one of them was just, was when I was in college. Like, she was, <clears throat> she was going to give up her virginity to me, but I didn't want to do her like that because she just was the real deal. She was like a really, she liked me, and she was, you know, but I know what I was doing. So I just said, no, nah, I don't want to be the one to dog somebody like this out. See, I always been the type. Now, I did dog some good ones out. I ain't going to lie. But I always been the type. Like, I didn't. I never liked it married women, for one. Because married women, it's like that comes back on you. You think you're doing something. You think you're a Mac. You think you're a player. But that stuff come back on people. You messing with people's wives and stuff like that. That stuff be really coming back on people. Then you finally get a wife and somebody mess with yours. That's the way it works. Now, sometimes dudes going to get your wife. 
regardless of uh, you doing wrong or not. Because that's just the way it works. But other times, when you just intentionally, you know that chick is married, you sneaking around, you giving her an outlet, and then she going home uh, creating problems for the man just trying to do right by her in most cases. Some dudes don't. Like, all these dudes ain't good. They not good men, but... But in a lot of cases, it be the guy that's doing right by her that gets the short end of the stick. That's why we, you know, we not necessarily in favor of marriage in this manosphere, in this red pill. We just not. You know, I talked about the passport brother thing too. Now, uh, go to the business channel. He he posted a video that was the perfect refute of the passport brothers and all the stuff they be saying. There's some guy that uh, was talking about with Columbia being number one for single mothers and uh, number one for, for cheating. But these dudes think they're going to find a wife in Colombia. Like I said, it's territorial simping. It's territorial simping. It's simping uh, in certain locations. Over here, you say, say no to single mothers. Over there, you getting with single mothers. That's territorial simping. Me, personally... You, I say, if, if a chick is trying to do right by you, and she a single mother, don't step daddy. Stay out of that. But at the same time, if everything is falling in place with you and her, you know, I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't uh, deal with them sometimes. Me, personally, I don't know. I don't know what I could necessarily do. But the virgin thing is the way you handle virgins is with care. You don't want to be the dude that causes one and that has preserved herself to become a 304. So you, you want to uh, as long as she ain't, she don't get away with nothing though. Don't let her get away with nothing. But as long as she's not um, making no problems for you, not doing the 304 stuff, I would say handle with care. You know, be be a good dude with her, and and kind of watch. I would say. The sex thing just depends. If you make her a concubine and she want to do it, you want to do it. But if she says she want to save it to marriage, the only people we take that from is virgins. Like if a virgin say, I want to save myself from mar marriage, you should respect that. You should. And you should see where things go with them. But remember, they get curious later, though. Because I'm, I'm telling you, man, I had virgins, I had semi-virgins that, that did stuff but didn't go all the way, so they thought they was virgins. And low body count, women get curious. Sometimes, in some ways, the low body count woman is more dangerous when it comes to a sexual standpoint because if, if you're doing right by them, they're going to be extremely sneaky and they're going to cover their tracks more. A virgin is still going to get curious later. Especially if she be at work telling dudes, well, I only had, only person I, I had is my husband. He going to be sizing you up. Thinking, well, what if I'm bigger than him? I could, I could bust that open a little more. You know, that's how men think. You know, so 
you want to treat them uh me personally i'm gonna treat any woman good to treat me good but if she start acting up i'm dumping her i'm not even dealing with it but you want to treat them good and you want to explain to them you want to be able to read those bible verses and explain to them how the concubine thing goes especially if she in the church and she might feel like uh she's sinning but if if you make her your concubine with the possibility of becoming your wife uh she's not sinning she's not if you just randomly oh i like her smash 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 then we dealing with sin if you commit to her in at least the concubine way i'm gonna make a part two man i'm gonna make a part two i gotta do something real fast and i'm gonna give you a part two i'm gonna give you two for one so just stay tuned i'm gonna talk about this some more